Kia ora, I'm Sheree Kinnear and these are the latest New Zealand Herald headlines. After 14 years in Parliament, Simon Bridges has made his last speech as an MP. The former National MP wants parliamentarians to focus less on small, short-term political tactics and more on large, long-term strategies. And he says independent thought and differences of opinion are good. I didn't always agree with what was said. Sometimes MPs went too far, but they were bold and without fear or favour. They'd send shivers down your spine. Today I fear they might be cancelled. Part of Campbell Street in Cambridge has remained closed overnight after the stabbing of three people. Police were called to a commercial premises on the street around 8.45 last night after a report of a grievous assault. They've been speaking to a man who say is assisting with inquiries and it's believed to be an isolated incident. Auckland Transport wants to make it easier for businesses to install bollards. It comes as businesses up and down the country have been hit in a series of ram raids. It's streamlining the process by appointing a senior member of staff to deal with all bollard queries. They say it's an issue which has moved up the transport agency's priority list and that it'll be an easy, quicker and more effective process from now on. More than two-thirds of aged care providers say it's likely they'll have to seize or restrict admissions in the next year. And slightly more than a third say it's likely they'll have to close facilities in that time. These results from a survey of 17 sector leaders by Aged Care Matters, a movement calling for urgent changes from government as the sector faces breaking point. Radius Care CEO Andrew Peskett says with the shortage of aged care nurses, the quality of care could decrease. The government is not funding the aged care sector and in particular the nurses within the aged care sector to a similar level that is funded for example in the DHB. It's likely to, to mean that there's a, an overflow to the public health system, which is exactly what we don't want. The number of rough sleepers in central Auckland is likely to rise as they're displaced from temporary accommodation by returning workers, tourists and students. The Auckland City Mission says the number of people living on the street is relatively low because of a multi-agency effort two years ago to give them shelter in the first COVID lockdown. But the more borders open and the more hotels have alternative customers, they say they wouldn't be surprised if in a year the number of rough sleepers increases dramatically. And in world news, another on-stage attack of a comedian in LA, this time Dave Chappelle, during a show at the Hollywood Bowl. His attacker, a 23-year-old man, was armed with a knife and has been charged with assault with a deadly weapon. Chappelle was uninjured and continued with his set. And those are the latest New Zealand Herald headlines. For more and to stay up to date, head to nzherald.co.nz. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. To stay up to date with all the latest news from the New Zealand Herald, click the subscribe button below or check out one of the videos here. And head over to nzherald.co.nz for more details on these stories and more.